that excites the view of potential issues to carry you up. This next next way of doing five years is monitoring. So with my intention, you put force on me, I stretch my hips, I touch and I press stop. The force you give me now, that's 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 all you're gonna get in return with that being tender. But if you retract your arms and you do a heavier force then and I just ground out, push me really heavy and spring, you're you're giving me the load. And all I'm doing is feeling the alignment to the ground and relaxing and letting you bounce yourself off the springiness of my body. I touch center, invite you into the field, and back, and you spring up. So my body's just a big spring, and my mind is on the life force field. Now you push in heavier, nice and sharp, and I just relax and take that, that shock and go down into my body. What this is going to do is just allow me to, to stay inside the field and train my tendons with non intention. My muscles are just relaxing and taking everything into elasticity. That's a, a type of non intention. You can do it on the bridge, straight onto the body. And constantly look for places within your partner's body where there's weakness. So a moment ago, you touched me there, and I destabilized slightly. And so now, if you find a dis unstable point, work that point over and over until it becomes stable. So, so that that empty corner, and we just keep working, working, working. Your job as a feeder is to feel my body push to the root and bounce yourself off, or constantly looking for how you can make my balance, my groundedness, my overall frame better and better and better and better. So if I'm the feeder and I'm pushing off you, you're lying to the ground, yep, you're intending. Oh, so you just totally on attention. So you, yep, so you yeah, so push in, soften, 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 into the elasticity, don't come back up, just down. If you stretch away from this point, stretch your hip down, stretch. Now see the elastic load inside there. You can touch, touch, touch my arms anywhere, and then all you do is just ground down and so become elastic. Okay. So now, as I'm pushing, I might push this way, and as I push this way, you have to. That restabilize. Okay. And we get this. My job is to find every possible weakness, and you just build the springs. So no matter where someone touches you, they just shoot off in your direction. Okay, partner up. One minute round. Okay. Beginning. Okay. Next exercise. What we do? Our partner puts his hands on our body. Doesn't matter how we connect. Just form us. Uh, as soon as it touches, he feels our center of gravity. So you connect to my center. Yeah. And he's he's anchored in. Now, um, as soon as he connects to my center, I'm automatically connected to his. So it's an it's a autom automatic thing. So I feel, and I'm at reinforced my connection. Now we're, now we're connected. He gives me a line from the upper circle. So he's using his arms, shoulders, upper back, and he presses into my body slightly. Now what I want to do is take that, stretch it down to my hip, and relax down to the ground, and just come underneath it. And I just keep relaxing, sinking, sinking, sinking until it's destabilized. Then he does it again. He presses in and I just relax, sink, 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 sink. And this just brings our partner out of the base. So he pushes in again. I just relax, 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 relax. When I say relax, absorb the mind into the life force field. Take this force and I just sink it to the root. With life force field. Okay? Try not to let your body sway, keep it a firm connection so that as it as it goes, it stays. You don't want too much jelly body, otherwise it begin to get it, get what we're looking for. So my my training is just to soften everything. I want to take my state 
awareness of a type of non-intention, where it's just a stream into the life force field. And just relax into that and train non-intention. It's his his energy which is um, is creating a reaction inside him. I just allow everything fall and sink into that life force field, life force awareness. And now he can start testing my body. He, he can push in on the shoulders, and then I just relax and round it out. If there's a stalemate, um, I can turn slightly to destabilize and just let the body naturally find a, find a wall where it's going to break its base. If, let's say, he puts a sack of potatoes on me and goes dead weighted, now, even when I ground it out, he's not going to go anywhere. That sack of potatoes is going to sit on my body. And so I need to change the alignment so that the sack of potatoes falls off my body. So I, I shake the waist slightly. So you, you go dead weighted and down, I shake the waist, and you know, there it is. You know, I go that way. And again, I just relax, sink, sink, sink. And pick, pick his arm. He has a very straight line, elastic feet coming down, and, and then I just empty out, and it creates a, a different type of reaction. And then we can bring it out into the fingers. So he, as, as you project in, I just empty out to the field. Now, as I hold my hands here, I want to keep this as relaxed and soft. So as it touches, I have to transfer this awareness of the field through here into a center. The more it hits its center as we do this, the less he can get his energy into me, and the more it, it connects in. And then I just empty out, empty out, empty out, and, uh, and apply with it. Here, this is the only line I've got off to that side. I catch it a little bit earlier, take it to that corner, and so forth. You just train the body in a state of relaxed non intention. After we've done a, um, a little bit of that exercise, then we move on to when your hands come towards my body, then I catch them and then I, I move to a state of non intention. So now you project a, a firmer force in, I catch, and, and take force in, catch, and then ground it out. So here, the, the hand shape is relevant. All what we've basically got are two hands coming towards my body, maybe one high, one low. However, his hands come in, I connect to them, and then non attention. I just empty out and ground this to the ground, just invite it into the life force field. I can start with my hands down, his hands move towards, I rise, catch, ground it out. Ground it out. It always has to be a zero point point at which the force has come in, and then I just go and empty this, and, 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 and empty that through the life force field. And there's no intention in the mind, it's just following an intuitive, um, an intuitive knowing which way to turn, which way his center wants to go. He's tapping into that life force field intuition. Okay.